Hi everyone, Larry Satchwell. Back in my kitchen today, it's a really cold, rain, nasty day in Georgia. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. I really want to try to visualize what's really in this suet we've been feeding. And I like to make my own, but sometimes you just don't have a chance. And I had a viewer one time say, you know, it's only a buck fifty. Why are you bothering to make it? Well, we don't eat a lot of processed foods here at home. Uh, my wife is a great cook and she makes mainly everything from scratch. And so I don't mind making things for the birds because I know exactly what's in it. All of these, almost, I haven't read all of them, but 90% of these I've read the ingredients here. And all of these have a warning against allergens. This one says it could have peanuts, tree nuts, soy, fish, or shellfish. But the only ingredients listed are as, uh, beef suet, corn, white millet, and sunflower hearts. So why would you be allergic to fish or shellfish in there? And if there's soy, it, it could be soy meal, but it could also be uh, soy oil. And if it's soy oil, it has to be hydrogenated to stay in this state, otherwise it would be liquid. This is CNS brand, it comes from uh, Walmart. Uh, Ace has that too, I think, but they also have their own brand. And this is Audubon, so this is their sunflower with the seed, the hearts, and this is the Audubon with the whole seeds. But my plan is to melt these down and spread them out and see if we can pick out the ingredients. Let's get started. I'm going to start here with that CNS sunflower millet. I've set the microwave for 30 seconds. And it looks like it's coming out of there. After 30 seconds, it had dropped out of the container, but it hadn't melted. It's pretty well melted now. All right, remember this one was supposed to have suet, corn, white millet, and sunflower hearts. Wow, uh, I see a lot of corn. There's a pellet of some kind. I think the white might be the millet, millet, mullet. <laughs> I think mullet's a hairdo. Millet. A couple of these unidentified little pellets. Kind of looks like the horse feet and goat feet. All right, here are some sunflower hearts. What an ingredient. I don't know if this is listed like you um, list the ingredients on human food but sunflower hearts is the last ingredient. And I don't see more than, well, just guessing there's one, two, three. I don't see more than two dozen, maybe 30. <laughs> there's not very much in there, that's for sure. I got this at Ingalls and I know that's a Southern chain of uh, grocery stores, but while we're on the sunflowers, I'm going to do the Audubon. The first thing I like is the packaging. It just comes off just like that. These are such a pain to get off. Uh, all right, let's melt this. I've cleaned out the bowl pretty well, so there may be a few specks of corn in this, but I'm going to put this in the uh, microwave for a minute as well. All right, the Audubon, the first ingredient is black sunflower seeds and then beef suet. But it too contains the warning that it could have fish or shellfish in it. But what a difference. No corn. I don't see any fillers in here at all. All right, let's keep going. Up next, CNS's peanut treat suet. Now, before I put the peanut suet in here, I guess I should, if, if I were gonna be fair, I would sift out all this stuff and count how many hearts were in there. But I can tell you, there's not a lot. All right, let's look at what's in this peanut butter treat. Uh, 
Oh, one of nuts. What are the first ingredients? Uh, rendered beef suet, roasted peanuts, oats, and corn. Well, right off, I'm seeing, those aren't nuts, those are pellets. Hmm. I thought I was seeing nuts, but those are actually the pellets, like was, like what I saw in the other one. So maybe that's the, some kind of processed peanuts. Well, whatever it is, it's full of those pellets. Oats and corn. It looks like white corn this time. And maybe it's oats and uh, pellets, because that does look like the feed we feed our horses and goats. But if that's the case, well, I don't want to turn you on. If that's the case, then I'm not seeing peanuts, but maybe they're together. Well, you know, I believe that's a peanut. I believe they're little chunks of peanuts and it probably is the oats and the pellets. The no, no melt. This is the only no melt I saw on the shelves at this time of year. So let's try that and see what kind of temperature it takes to melt it. Well, after one minute, it was at 143. Now it's at 20, 217, 223, 227, 229. That's a 223, 229 Fahrenheit, and it still hasn't melted. And it calls itself dough. So I would say, yeah, it's not gonna melt. The ingredients are corn, roasted peanuts, rendered beef suet, oats, and soy oil. So we know that that had to be hydrogenated soy oil. And it's still not melting. It's come uncaked, but it certainly didn't melt. And it's really hot. I'm uh, putting all of these ingredients into one pot and we're gonna make a smorgasbord of the ingredients here in a few minutes. Just melt them all together. I don't know of a better way, but I can assure you this, once I am finished with this store block in this round, and this may last me all winter because we have several cakes. From here on out, I will probably just make our homemade suet. Simple ingredients, beef suet or lard, or uh, I guess the, it's correctly called beef tallow. So beef tallow or lard, a uh, little cornmeal, organic if I can get it, uh, plain peanuts, and I'll show you what I'm going to use here in a few minutes. Maybe some, some dried uh, millworms, freeze-dried millworms. But I don't think I'll go back to buying suet. It's no more expensive to make it. And I'd like to know what I'm eating. I'd like to know what my pets are eating. And we'll just keep going from there. My bowl's getting slippery. All right, peanut crunch here from Ace Hardware. To be honest, it looks a lot like what we just melted. Oh, this is no melt, melt resistant up to 115. So let's see what this melts at. After one minute in the microwave, it was at 111, and now it's at 220, now it's at 206. 208 Fahrenheit and still hasn't melted. So it's basically the same as the other one. Looks like the other one, smells like the other one. And again, it's a cake. All right, up next, the apple. The first ingredient was corn. Oh, 
This is the CNS. Well, that looks a lot like the first one, doesn't it? Well, if there's apples in there, they're described, they're, they're very well hidden. And it could be that it's in these pellets. This is not scientific and I'm no expert. And I'm not gonna taste it. But all I see is corn. Corn, suet, white millet, oats, and apples. Apples was the last one. All right, let's do this. Audubon Nutty Treat, CNS Nutty Treat. So this is the Audubon. After one minute, it really didn't all melt all the way, but after one minute, this one really did. And again, I'm seeing pellets and I don't know what's in the pellets. I'm seeing a lot of corn. In the Audubon, I'm seeing nuts. Big nuts, look at that big nut. A little corn, some suet, enough to hold it together. So CNS Nutty Treat, first ingredient is corn. The uh, first ingredient on the Audubon, peanuts. So I, if you can find Audubon, I would say, I think I paid $1.48 for this and $1.98 for the Audubon. I'll have to look and I'll put it in the notes below. But there wasn't a big difference. Certainly not as big a difference as you're seeing here. All right, we'll keep moving on. Next up, Berry Treat from CNS and Bird Blend from Ace, Bird Blend has uh, rendered beef suet, and I think that may, they mean beef tallow, corn, white millet, oats, sunflower meal, and it may contain one or all of the following, nuts, uh, aller allergens, uh, and peanuts, the same thing, fish. This uh, is, I'm sure, corn. Uh, corn, white millet, oats, and blueberries, blueberries. I raised blueberries. Now the blueberries could be in those pellets again. I don't know. I don't know what's in the pellets. But if the blueberries aren't in the pellets, then there aren't any blueberries in here. Oh, there, you know, there are specks in there. It's probably some kind of a blueberry byproduct. Yeah, I mean, berry, you can eat the berry skins. I don't know what byproduct it might be. But so far, in everything except the Audubon, all I see is corn, basically. Next up is CNS's Woodpecker Treat. And of all the CNS's I've seen, this one looks the best. And it smells like peanut butter. It's the first one that's come out of the microwave that has a peanut butter odor to it. Uh, so it's got roasted peanuts, Oats, corn, almonds, pecans, and walnuts. Boy, you know there's not very many pecans and walnuts at the price of nuts these days in there. But of all the CNS's products, this one is the only one that looks different. And you can see pump chunks of peanuts and very clearly these pellets. Again, don't know what's in the pellets. And uh, they may have a Website, you can ask what's in the pellets. I thought I saw a millworm in there. Maybe not. But of all the CNS products, if I were going to buy it again, I would buy the Woodpecker's Delight or the Woodpecker's Treat. All right, I've got two more, and they're both called High Energy. So the last two in my collection. This is Ace's uh, High Energy, and our birds have not been eating it at all lately. It's their value pack. Uh, they usually run less than a dollar a piece. They used to be 69 cents a piece, and you buy it in this set of uh, 10. And this is the Audubon, the high energy suet. Uh, it's got rendered beef suet, Milo, cracked corn, black sunflower seeds, and white millet. And again, if I were, if I had a choice, I 
think I'd go with the Audubon. Uh, this is the first one that's had millet in it. That's a common seed for like parakeets and things. There's a the sunflower. All right, I'm going to melt my giant pot down here and uh, fill these containers back up. Well, I've cleaned up some of the mess. It's really hard, you know, cleaning up that, that lard and uh, so it uh, gets really sticky. Anyway, so it looks like I, I have 12 packets here. I filled them up pretty heavy, so I had two empty ones. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to go with Audubon or make my own. I, uh, I'll let you be the judge. I'm not knocking CNS. I just didn't see a difference from one to the other. And it may be there because you can't really pick out the ingredients, and this was by far unscientific. But now I know what's in the suet and what's not. Thanks for watching.